Fort Wayne runner isn't letting an injury get in the way of finishing a race he started two years ago. News Channel 15's Alyssa Ivinson has his story tonight. Well, in two weeks, Mark Bloom will be at the starting line of the mini marathon in Indianapolis for the second time. But this will be his first time crossing the finish line. His first race was cut short, a mile from the end. Running is how attorney Mark Bloom unwinds. He picked it up five years ago after a few races. Thought, hey, well, let's try the mini. So in 2012, I took the adventure on. I was going down to Indianapolis. Mark joined 35,000 people for the largest mini marathon in the country, 13.1 miles. But at mile six, somebody cut in front of me and I checked up and felt a pop. He thought it was the muscle that had been giving him problems, so he kept going. The running got slower. And then it became a walk. And then it became something that I can't imagine what looked like. At mile 12, his leg gave out. I tried to walk sideways and about fell over. I tried to walk backwards and about fell over. Uh, you know, and I even said, okay, can I, can I even crawl somehow? I was so frustrated that I was at mile 12 and I wasn't going to be able to finish. That pop he heard was actually his femur breaking. Doctors think he had a stress fracture before the race. Mark had surgery two days later. The next day, he signed up for the 2013 Mini. We tell our kids, you know, finish something you start and set goals for yourself. So, you know, I'm kind of trying to be an example for my own children. Mark wasn't healed enough to run last year, but now, two years later, he's ready to go. Looking forward to that finish. The mini sent Mark a medal, but he says because he didn't finish the race, he didn't really earn it, so he keeps it in the sock drawer. Now he's looking forward to finishing the mini and getting a new one. I remember exactly where it popped, what I was doing, and more importantly, when I hit mile 12, where I sat on the side of the road for quite a while. But when I go by that mile, I'm sure I'm going to have a smile on my face from that point on to the end of the, the race. And Mark says he's not really superstitious, but he's not going to wear what he wore two years ago. Mark and Heather.